Welcome back YouTube to my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect 2. You might have noticed that the last few videos in this series have been available to watch at a higher resolution. And that is because I was gifted a brand new monitor from Pixio and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it before we get into today's video. The Pixio PXC277 Advanced is a 27 inch 1500R curved monitor with a crisp 1440p display and 165 hertz refresh rate. It was incredibly simple to set up. Out of the big red box came the monitor itself, the stand, the pirate cable, and they also throw in a display port cable as well. The monitor looks really good with the settings that it comes with out of the box, but I was very impressed by the customization it offers as well. It comes with preset options for display and color, but you can also go in and manually change things like brightness, contrast, sharpness, color temperature, and saturation. I've used the user preset for both display and color, and I think it looks great. There's also this really handy user data menu where you can save settings in up to three profiles so that's perfect for different users or if you just prefer different settings for different games. The stand that the monitor comes with is very clean, very minimalistic, super easy to set up but it does lack adjustability. However Pixio do sell their own monitor arm which can clamp onto your desk which provides a lot more flexibility and adjustment options. The absolute best thing about this monitor is the price. It's currently in stock on Amazon for £209.99 pence which is an absolute steal for a monitor with these specifications. So if you're looking to upgrade your setup without breaking the bank, the Pixio PXC277 Advanced is absolutely worth checking out. Thank you so much to Pixio for sending over the monitor. I've really loved being able to increase the quality of my YouTube videos and I'm sure all the viewers have as well. Thank you so much to you guys for being here and let's get stuck in to Mass Effect 2. This is likely going to be the last episode. We're going to be playing through the Arrival DLC tonight. If you haven't seen already, we have completed the main game. It was in my last video. It was an emotional one. I won't say anything more in case you haven't watched it yet, but please make sure you do. It's probably one of my favorite gaming experiences of my entire life. But thank you so much for being here. We'll be jumping into Mass Effect 3 sometime in the near future. Let's get into it. First thing I want to do is change out of this Cerberus uniform because if we learned anything from that finale, it's that we don't want to work for Tim anymore. Do I have a nice... Oh, I love this music. Do I have a nice N7 outfit? Might have to be the N7 hoodie. I wish I could put the, the blue Elenco hoodie on that I have in real life. Yay! Hey, baby. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus... He's proud of uh, me. Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. He, I think he's proud of me. Just checking in. How are you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. I'm so happy. That's all for now. Shepard. Where's my girl? Hey. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't have anything to say about the, uh, about the mission. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? If I want to talk to you, I will. Oh! Been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. It's just, I'm not really a girls club kind of person. I like you, all right? That's a good place to stop. Let me in! Let me in, Jack. I want to be friends. Hey, Tally. I can't believe we destroyed the collector base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that's said about a lot of things you do. Yay. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Let's see what Engineer Donnelly has to say. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new quarry and boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. <laughs> huh. He's a dirty dog. Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. Oh. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Oh. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Bless them. Zaid must have something to say. He'll have loved that big battle. Hey, Zaid. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. 
Tell me a story. I remember. What was his name? Salarian infiltration specialist. Hundred story man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Oh, I don't remember who that was. Job. Your Morden Solus kind of reminds me of him. He is our Morden. Nice ship you got here. Roomy. He doesn't have nice anything to say I about the big on. mission. Two men couldn't walk past each big other mission with the boys. They were really good friends. <laughs> I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Okay, Zaid. Up at the crew deck, we'll catch up with everybody in here. I never want to go through anything like that again, but we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. Hey, girl. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. I'm glad everyone the agrees with me. The man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. Fair. I should go. Of course. Let's go see Dr. Chakwas. Great moment when you find her in the finale. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. Oh. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. I love when we got to share a drink with her earlier in the game. Hello, Legion. An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. Ooh, uh, that's an interesting I'd like take. To find out more about you. Topic. When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece oh, of N7 great question. armor welded to you. Where'd you get it? It was yours. When you disappeared, we were sent to find you. We began where you first encountered the heretics. Eden Prime. After the old machine's attack, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. It's gone now. This is the impact of a rifle shot. Oh, that was two years ago. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Therum, Theros, wow. Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. Okay, Mass Effect 1 callbacks. The trail ended at Normandy's wreckage. You were not there. Organic transmissions claimed your death. We recovered this debris from your heart suit. Oh, but why though? It doesn't explain why you used my armor to fix yourself. There was a hole. <laughs> but why didn't you fix it sooner or with something else? Why is Shepard so angry about it? No data available. Okay. That's a bit sus then, Legion. I can't believe you took down the collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. Aww. You really are a hero. No sooner had the collectors damned us so than nice you were pulling our the, sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. Oh, what a great crew we have, huh? And then there's the real one, the For homie. Sarah, now the collectors remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Oh man, my bro. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Dude's still calibrating. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Thank you. Let's go see Miranda. Hey girl. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the collector base was the Ooh. right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. So a lot of people left me a comment on YouTube saying that if you take Miranda to the final fight in the finale, that she resigns from Cerberus when Tim calls. That would have been a cool bit of dialogue to see. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another Miranda, time. we're chilling. We I'll saved the work. galaxy. Of course, Commander. Relax. Relax for one day. Now we're going to see my favorite gossip queen. Hey, got a minute? Yes. I heard about you and Thane. I want details. Actually, no, I don't. Yes, you That's do. Cool. Don't lie to me. She wants details. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security, 
but they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. I usually travel Aww, hidden away in cargo Kasumi's bays. Kasumi's great. I'm glad it's we nice brought her on the final mission. For a change. Kasumi does love Jacob. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I heard about you and Thane. I wish Shepard could have told her the details. We kissed. That was it. Boring. You had to make a difficult choice, Siha. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. I should go. As you will, Siha. Oh, I love that he calls me Siha. What a sweetie. Everyone's favorite singing Salarian. What do you got to say? Collectors destroyed. Base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. Nice. Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions Nobody and Edie's insistence any more that than that. <laughs> insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? Goodbye. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Are me and Jacob finally gonna kick it and spill some drinks in the Citadel? Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell know how to make enemies. That's interesting. I have never thought about that. That Cerberus is now my enemy as well. We've got a whole lot of enemies going into this last game. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big oh. on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Okay, we'll later. goodbye. Commander. Can't remember if we caught up with Joker at the end of the last stream, so. Told you we tear the collectors a new one. Yeah, Commander really pulled through. Oh, the gang is happy. Hey, Shepard, glad that collector Reaper crap is over. It is over, right? I don't think so. It's never over. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. It was bad. Death, Saren, Sovereign. And then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. You're right. Vermeer was stressful, if you guys remember. Vermeer was incredibly stressful. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted For apart. Presley. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's sad. That's it for now. See you, Commander. What about you, madam? Yes, Shepard. Tell me about Cerberus now you're not shackled down. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks in my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. Okay. Tell me about building the Normandy. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts it's were exactly the same. Thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. Okay, what about your resources? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Money. Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. So who's the income? Where are they getting that kind of income? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. So they're money launderers. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance military oh. industrial complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. <laughs> How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Oh, yes, I do remember her telling me that before. We are Lazarus, operated by Miranda. Logging you out, Shepard. 
So Admiral Hackett asked Shepard to infiltrate a Batarian outpost and rescue Dr. Amanda Kenson. Kenson is a deep cover operative and scientist who claims to have proof of an imminent Reaper invasion. Well, considering we just witnessed at the very end of the Mass Effect 2 main game, the, uh, the Reaper army, I feel like Amanda and I are going to have loads to talk about. So let's go get her. Oh my god, all the way over here! The Viper Nebula! Like Mount Everest inside an oven, is how John Grissom described this planet. Has anybody read the Mass Effect books? I'm actually reading the first Mass Effect book right now and I'm pretty sure it mentions John Grissom. Let's land. Oh yeah, and I'm going by myself! Yes, um, Admiral Hackett asked that I go by myself. Why would he ask that I go by myself? All right, let's cut the power. No team, huh? This is weird. Because I didn't want to pay all the squad voice actors. I mean, that's probably a valid answer. It's down here. Wait a second, hang on. They've seen us. Oh god, that made me jump! Jesus! Send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. That scared me a lot. Uh oh. Where did you go? This place is run down. Even for a prison. Woo! Yeah, this is. Get your hands off <gasps> me! Kenson! Oh! Jesus! Okay, doing the switcheroo with the gas valves. I see you. Can I run through that? No, truly not. God! Yeah, there we go. This is making me nervous. From them. them all out. He's scared of us. This should come in handy. Shh. Shepard, nobody's here. Don't have to be shouting stuff like that. We can use this. Let's continue. I'm very on edge now. It's very weird not having your crew. see these cro oh i see him look oh they're not krogan they're batarian maybe hmm probably batarian considering it's a batarian outpost <clears throat> oh god all right you take the one on the left i'll take the one on the right Beautiful. Uh, 
I'm just exploring at the moment. I'm, I don't think I'm going the exact right direction at the moment, but I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. This place is set up weird. It's not as obvious where I'm supposed to go. I know I can click that button and it shows me where to go, but there's no... There's doors everywhere. I think it wants me to go up there. Let's try. Is this a puzzle? Am I, am I, am I losing my mind? Oh no, they're gonna kill her. Since when did this game become a horror? I'm getting so many jump scares tonight. Why do they hate humans so much? Oh, I feel like he needs to join a union or something. Oh shit. Who is it? No, don't do it. I was about to throw an inferno grenade down there, but that's reckless. Crane control. Okay, what am I going to crane? Um. Oh, I'm moving stuff. Where are we going to put it? I don't know where we're going to put it. Um. What does that button down there do? Vehicle lift. Okay. What's the objective here? It's given me steps to go back up, so let's see what this does first. Whoa. Vehicle lift. So I guess I go down here, but I mean, am I going to get stuck? It's way up again. Our convoy intercepts paid off. We picked up a message to the Alliance coming from somewhere in the asteroid belt. We listened to the feed until we discovered an operation run by a human named Kenson. Yeah. Smuggling engine parts and guidance systems into the system for Omega. We intercepted Kenson's vessel and took her and her people into custody. Interrogation has produced nothing but frenzied rambling. Okay. Woo! This one's apparently the mastermind. Oh, let's see if we can get a collateral. This guy doesn't give a fuck. <gasps> oh no, that's her! They're looking for the base. Where is your base? 
She won't talk. Oh, I have that outfit. We need to get her. This is Hackett's girl. Let me through. Here we go. Go, Chef, go. Oh, oh no. Hello. Yes. It's been so long since we've had a nice shepherd punch doing, in the face. Dr. Kenson. I'm Commander Shepherd. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard, I'd heard you were alive. Oh. Hackett must have received my message. We have to get out. We're not safe here. Can you walk? Hell yeah. I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Okay, girl. We love that. Uh-oh. Then we'll find one. Go. I hope she joins Ready. my crew. Oh, she's on my crew. Yes. Okay, what way do we go, friend? This way. Should be a security console here somewhere. I like this woman already. Whoa! Ha! Impressive. She likes me too. I totally forgot about charge, you know. I don't think I use charge that much in the finale at all. She has incinerate and overload cool use incinerate whoa shields ah here we go can't get a lock. Here we go. Woo! Dead. Elite prison guard my ass. That looks about right. They know we're here. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Yes. I will protect you, Kenson. Absolutely not. We will protect her. Keep them out. You do it. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. Oh, I need to lock it down. We need to close the door we came in. How through. do I Keep do that? Out. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. They're coming up from below. Other side, go. I'm going. I'm locking all doors to the hangar. Still need more time. Pop your head out. Okay, we're good. You good, Kenson? Watch the other side. More the other side. The Where's the elevator girl? Uh, 
There's an elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Holy Almost shit! Done. I'm doing a great job of protecting Dr. Kenson. Uh oh. My shields are down. Go! Oh, that didn't work. That was weird. We good? Dr. Kenson all good? Did it. Let's move. Yay! Get to the hangar. Do not let them escape. Elevator. Come on. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. Oh. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. We can do that. Leave that to me. Oh, she's so freaking cool! Shepard just never never says anything the basic way. She's always cool. Who was in here then? This is the ship that arrived earlier, no? Deploying flammable. Red barrels are always explosive. Why didn't they explode? on the bay doors. Incoming. This is the bay doors here. Locks. Oh, fiery. Woo! There we go. Come on, girl. Uh oh. We're already out of here, sorry. Whoa! <laughs> Engaging autopilot. Nice. Let's go meet up with Hackett then. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be she fair, wants that's to about destroy half the one. Story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Weeper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers oh, can invade it's like the master anywhere key. in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it. Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even We're going to blow FTL one of these things speeds, up? It'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would oh. probably wipe out the system. Oh my god. Okay, this is a big decision. So tell me about the the, 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 the logistics of this, please. How do you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. The project. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. They can't be, heard surely. That, but I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Tell me a bit more about your arrest. How are you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. 
Yes, let's tell me a bit more about what will happen as the aftermath. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. Okay. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. <sighs> Why is it always the Batarians I have to decide whether to kill or not? <sighs> I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row. Row? A Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. Okay. What's a Reaper artifact doing in an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. Does this woman know that we just blew up an entire Reaper base? Collector base? How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. How'd she know the that? The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. We know too! If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. Oh. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. Okay, so she says, Shepard, pipe down. I have to see the proof. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. She's, I just realized Kenton's she's English. Project base. <laughs> Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The commander needs to confirm the artifact. That was weird. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Okay. I'm very suspect of this whole thing. This is the asteroid? Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, oh. the Reapers will have come. How does she Just know? Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How can you be sure? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has it been just giving is, off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. What? So we're running out of time then, yeah. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The I wish I had my outfit on. Area. I've got that outfit. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. Okay. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? There's a what lot of people here. We have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. I don't think it's going to be that simple, is it? It means killing 300,000 Batarians. There's a lot of people here. Ugh, feel sick. Oh, I turned my stomach looking down on that. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. 
One sec. Let me get the door. Hold the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. Do you have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? Shepard's so when pissed at this it, whole thing. It showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. Oh no! Oh, Shep! I can't let you oh! start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Why is it turned into what's happened? Why are we fighting? Take her down. What? What? Over here. Let's go. <clears throat> what? <laughs> they batarians? <laughs> Project guard. They're not batarians. <laughs> Why have they done this? <laughs> Oh fuck, I'm gonna get I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. What happened? No fucking way. Scripted death question mark? Ooh. Take her to the med bay and patch her up. We want Shepard alive. Did I die or not? I don't think I did. But it could be a glitch in the system. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! Oh shit. <laughs> Give me my guns. Why am I in my Cerberus uniform? The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. I'm confused. I think she... I think Step she... Away from the terminal. I think Amanda pretended to be kidnapped. She's being indoctrinated, I guess? Security. What am I doing? Oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> what is happening? There I am! <laughs> so the Reapers have indoctrinated Amanda to try and make sure that the project doesn't go ahead. So that the mass relay is not destroyed. Oh, wow. They've indoctrinated the whole base. Look at us playing as a little robot. Oops. Weapon, weapon, weapon. Give me a weapon. Gear up. How much time? I have to get this asteroid moving and get the hell out of here. Oh shit, so we're doing it, but now the whole team is fighting me. I think I understand what's happened. Oh, we haven't played any games in ages. Oh no. Shit. It can't be an easy one because I messed up. Shepherd's past them. All personnel, get in there. 
You can't stop me, bad guys. Open up! They've seen us. They've seen us. Shepard, it's just me and you, girl. Oh, I thought I'd killed him. Okay, continue. Shepard is tearing us apart. Shepherd is tearing us apart. Yes, she is. Should be keep taking cover, my dude. Oh, there you are. Shields. You won't get through here. Oh my God! Charge! Shit! Get up, Shep. Oh, this is tricky. There's a lot of them. Goodness, you're still alive. Okay. Wow, this is getting more difficult. Let's see if we can listen to the Oh look, Izo. The longer we're here, the more I'm convinced that the project must be stopped. We simply don't know enough about what she's the been want. indoctrinated, right? going so they had this whole plan because they've been around this reaper artifact it's been indoctrinating them to stop the plan we go easy this is tough not the girls wanted me dead too I need ammunition Shepard, you're so annoying. <laughs> that was very dramatic of him. God damn it! 
should have known that was gonna happen. Look at the remains of him. Oh my God. Okay, there's an actual timer here, so. Engine. Welcome to Project Control. I wanna activate the project. Warning, activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you wish to continue? Don't leave it up to me. Shepard, you decide, not me. Yeah, we need to warn the Batarians. We do need to warn them. We'll warn them. Alert. All colonists living in the Bahak system. This is... Shepard, no. Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid... No, girl, don't do it. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An She's going to try and blow it up. It. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh! Ah! Don't ah! do that to me. Ah! Is that her? I should have got more ammunition. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. Girl, you're being indoctrinated. I will stop you. Stop now, Kenson. Hackett's friend or not, I will kill you. Why did Hackett tell me you're to go by myself? My Shepard, you know that. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Damn it, Kenson! They've seen us. Shepard is trapped. Keep her in there. I'm not trapped. Is she? How do I stabilize the reactor core? All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Okay. Cooling rod A reinserted. Reactor cooling process has begun. Good. Where's the other one? I need more time. Get in there. Over here. Please wait. Plasma venting in progress. Plasma venting, that sounds very sus. explode.
Okay, let's go. Oh my god! Oh goodness. Imagine taking four shotguns to the chest. You're pretty gnarly, my dude. Your security is so shitty. <laughs> wow. You're so lucky. Shepard, please take cover. My gal, take cover. Holy moly. I'm charging so much today just to make up for lost time in the finale. We didn't charge enough in the finale. Whoa. Where is she? Holy moly! Where do you guys keep coming from? Sorry, I showed it. They make it nice and easy when it's a mandatory one, don't they? <laughs> we need to cool. We need to do some more cooling. Let's go. girl yes ma'am here we go you're indoctrinated girl we don't need Step to have another sour moment you've ruined everything i can't hear the whispers anymore turn around now you've taken them away from me i will never see the weeper's arrival all you had to do was stay asleep no. i'm sorry i couldn't i couldn't stop myself Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have done that, should I? Warning. Collision imminent. I'm sorry. Warning. I'm Collision sorry. Imminent. I'm sorry. I don't think I should have done Warning. that. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup now. Communication system damaged. No. Damn it. Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. Why did Admiral Hackett tell me to do this by myself though? Like, is he in on it? I thought we were friends.
Could take some data. We can use this. like that. Egypt. Oh god, we're so nearly there. We've got to move, get moving. Shepard! Oh, Shepard, 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 Shepard. We try again. We need to move up quickly because look, that relay is right there. We're about to go straight into it. save me, right? Shep, come on. really tears through armor. The relay is right there! Woo! Okay, right, we need to go. Piss off. I'm bored of it now. Come on, Joker, you hear me? External comm channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Why is nobody wondering where I am? <gasps> Shepard, you have become an annoyance. Harbinger. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. No cost is too great. No, we will not go quietly. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be, 
We will fight. We will sacrifice, and we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you Ooh. die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Holy shit. Commander Shepard, Norman Yay. inbound for pickup. Roger that. Get me, get me, get me. Girl, though, but I didn't have to. Get us out of here, Joker. We need to get out. Hope my message got through to some of the Batarians. Oh, we're gonna use the mass relay. get away holy shit oh shepherd oh my god I'm a it he's here talking to that you know, Chakwas, who looks very like his old girl that I gunned down. Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. Why did you tell me to go by myself? That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batariat system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Yeah, what have you what have you heard? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system. Is anyone is gonna destroyed. believe me? I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I really hope that people believe me. <laughs> I had no choice. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming, and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. Well, yeah, you tried. <laughs> and you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? Oh, come no on, we know it. it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood. Oh, the Batarians always beefing with everyone. Hunt, and we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. He's so smart, isn't he? What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. My Shep is so pretty. What I did saved a lot more, Hackett. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. I tried. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. Who cares? So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, You'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. I have to go to Earth? I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things, but they brought We're you back Cerberus to life. We're not Cerberus anymore, Shep, remember? They're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus ship anymore. Right? Exactly. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarian's response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. 
If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. Okay, yeah. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down. And that was just one Reaper. Yeah, if that was... If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. I'll turn myself in. I'm just going to go down the middle with this one, I think. No, actually, I think they should be thanking me. I stop a Reaper invasion and they want to put me up on charges? It's not a matter of preference, Shepard. You'll be a convenient scapegoat for avoiding open war. Okay. Do whatever, whatever. you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on. Noted. Ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. What about your girl? Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. Oh, it's nice to see him. I'm still not sure why Hackett asked me to do that by myself. It feels a bit sus. I feel, am I, am I done? Am I done now? You can call Thane up to your cabin. Where's the telephone? Let me put a nice dress on. Intercom, invite Thane up! What does this mean? <gasps> oh! Is that all that happens? <laughs> Just sit there. The way he is sitting is very slutty and I love it. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at him. Look at him. This is Kurt Hansen. You're so right. <gasps> Screenshot. And this is where we'll leave our Mass Effect 2 playthrough. That's actually quite a nice way to end the playthrough. We did the finale. It was a big emotional ending. And now we're happily lying here with our lovely Frogman. We're going to end with a rash, yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching my playthrough of Mass Effect 2. I'm so, so pleased with how that game went. It's been one of my favorites of all time. And yeah, I guess watch this space for Mass Effect 3.